In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessings on you, God's good people, and welcome to this new month. Today is Saturday, the 1st of February, 2020. We thank God for bringing us to this new month. It is Catholic meditation you are listening to, and I am Father Blessed. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, second book of Samuel, chapter 12, verses 1 to 7 and verses 10 to 17. Gospel, St. Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. I read from the Gospel. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd, they took him with them, just as he was in the boat. And other boats were with them. And a great storm of wind arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. But there was Jesus asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Master, do you not care if we perish? And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? And they were filled with awe and said to one another, Who then is this, that even wind and sea obey him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God is with us and near us in our troubled boats. God is with us and near us in our troubled boats. Dear friends in Christ, we thank God for bringing us to this new month. And for all of us for whom this month is special, birthdays or anniversaries, we accompany you and celebrate with you with our prayers. God bless you. Beloved in the Lord, you would recall we said Jesus had enrolled his apostles in a school of faith and he was performing acts or letting them face certain situations of difficulty such as the sailing in the boat or the feeding of the crowd and his walking on the waters towards their troubled boat all in a bid to make them understand who truly he was so that they could grow in their faith in him. Today's gospel presents another of such situations. The episode of Mark chapter 6 verses 45 to 52 seems familiar with this of today in Mark chapter 4 verses 35 to 41. 
we could do some comparative study. They have three similarities. First, the apostles are sailing in a boat. Second, the sailing boat meets troubling winds and waves. And third, Jesus comes to their rescue. The main difference between these two episodes is that while in the first, Jesus was not with them in the boat and only came to meet them walking on the waters, in today's episode, he is with them in the boat. We see the development. First, he left them on their own and they had fear of sinking because he was not with them. This time, he is with them, yet they still feared. They were truly in a school of faith. But just how they were slow in their faith growth. First, Jesus had fed 5,000 in their presence with only five loaves and two fish. Their eyes and minds were not opened yet. Then, he let them suffer a boat scare on the seas with the waves and winds at night. He only came walking by. They still did not have faith. They feared. In this first boat case, we could give them benefit of doubt as Jesus was not with them. But this time, to this gospel passage, after the first boat scare and their mind still blind, and that experience they had with Jesus, we expect much from them in this second episode. Jesus is with them in the boat. Why then did they fear? They had no justification. This is fear that has no reason. They should be blamed for lack of faith. And Jesus himself is surprised. He pretended to be sleeping just to see their reaction. Jesus was not truly sleeping. He pretended to sleep. Who could have a comfortable sleep amidst such turbulence and all the noise the apostles were making battling with the boat? He just wanted to see their reaction. Dear friends, God expects us to grow in our faith. He has let us pass through many troubling waters and he passed by and we survived. Look at the many cases and situations in the past when you thought you would not have made it or you would not have survived. Yet, Jesus walked by and calmed your troubling boat. Why do you fear now when he's right there inside the boat with you? What is it you are going through now that you think will be more than you? What is it you are going through that you think you cannot surmount? He is very near you. He is not sleeping. So do not fret. Do not be troubled or distressed. Dear God's good people, we should reach that level of faith that when we look at our past and look at this present, nothing should scare us anymore. We should have such great faith and confidence in God. Sometimes, in those troubling waters, the best thing to do is just to be calm. Jesus is by you. Trust him. He's by you. He's in the same troubling boat with you. He knows what he will do. So just be calm. Be patient and play cool. He wants to see your degree of trust and faith. But if your faith has not grown to this level of keeping calm and quiet amidst troubling waters, that you are still blind to see that Jesus is by you and to trust he is in need with you, he wants you to know that he knows what he will do. You can run to him gently and tap him to wake up and do something. Bring the problem to him, dear friend. At least the apostles did not trust in themselves or someone else They ran to Jesus. So then, dear friends, God wants us to have faith. By now, from our experience or experiences, we should have known his capability. Let us grow in our faith in him. We are also in the school of faith with the apostles. God expects us to grow. A student who goes to school is promoted from one grade to another. No one stays in the same grade. In our school of faith with the apostles, let us also grow in our faith. Look at the past. Look at the many things that happened to you that you thought you would not have made it. Here you are today. Therefore, 
Nothing should scare you even if difficult moments strike. Even when that boat seems to be battling with the heavy winds and you think water is filling in and it would sink, Jesus is there by you. He seems to be asleep, but he is not. He knows exactly what he will do. That does not mean we will not just have troubling waters. We will. However, when those moments come, let us do one of these options. First, God wants us to see him very near to us in the same troubling boat. He suffers with us. He is in it with us. This is high level of faith. That when those difficult moments come, you turn to your right and to your left and you see that Jesus is right there with you. Therefore, what happens? Assured of his presence, that he suffers with you and that he is there with you, you keep calm. No worries. Because you see the master and you know he knows what he will do and can do it best at his time. This is a relax. God is in control. The second, he still wants us to see him near to us in the same troubling boat suffering with us. But if you think he is asleep or delaying and you cannot keep calm and be silent, then walk up to him and wake him to act. Do not go to others. Jesus has the words to calm every storm. Oh, dear friends, it has just been one month. We are beginning the second. Some have already, during this one month, experienced lots of troubling waters. Let it not scare you. God wants us to practice the first. Why fear or worry if you know he is by you and truly he is always by us and with us? The problem is, in our troubled moments, we think God is very far away. We think he is asleep. Dear Lord, we know you are by us and with us. We see you, but we give in to fear thinking you are asleep or do not care or do not see what we go through. Give us that faith, dear Lord, to trust that you are always with us and you have the word to calm all troubling waters and winds and save our boat from sinking. Let us together, beloved, say a Hail Mary for those presently facing troubling boats and storms in life that Mama Mary may intercede for them. Let us together pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We commit into your hands, O dear God, all those in troubling boats. Through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, Speak those words and calm your troubling waters. Amen. We wish each and every one of you a very happy new month. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen.